So, did you know that heat can kill reptiles way quicker than the cold weather can because of going into shock? Well, that's what this is for over here. Let's start to open it up and see what is inside of that box. Jokes. This is the actual box we will be unboxing today because this reptile room here is incredibly hot because it is a western facing facing wall and that means it gets full on sun, sunset uh, from about like 12:30 it gets full on sun the whole wall along this side of the reptile room gets full sun basically charging that wall up to making it to make it a big heat mass and then that energy gets released overnight and just makes it way too hot in the reptile room because remember it's a lot easier to work with a cold room and warm it up it's not so easy to cool down a very hot room so this is the hottest room in the house because of that and at like 12 p.m. when outside is pretty cold it's still boiling hot inside of here because of that heat mass and that. That's why I spent everything I had at the last reptile room to insulate the floor, ceiling and all of it. Sadly, I was not able to do that here. But what I have been able to do is get this guy over here. So let's unbox it. A huge shout out to all of my Patreons as well as anyone who supported me on the GoFundMe. This helped this purchase to help this Preservation Institute that was almost my fingers over there and we don't want to cut my hands off obviously did -dum, did -dum, did -dum. What did you guys help me get all you patreon supporters and everyone who supported the GoFundMe? This huge Monstrosity over here. Well, it may not look like much right now basically Okay, let's open it up so you can actually see this over here is a huge extractor fan it is an industrial extractor fan so i can put it on the other side of that room here and suck air through the room cooling it down and bringing fresh air in so there's lots of fresh clean airflow look at that so we got to set that up today because hopefully that will help cool down this room i mean i live in africa it gets so hot here you can imagine and with it the sun like touching that for like six hours of the day oh, let me go out and show you the wall basically it's a huge heat mass even though today is not that hot of a day i will turn on the taps in the other room over there which is the other snake room i haven't showed you that yet but basically i'll turn on the cold tap and the water would be so hot it's literally hotter than what i take my showers so it'll burn my hands and that's just because of the pipes that are in the walls and how hot the sun gets and heats everything up. So if you look over here, this whole side of the house is basically the reptile room and the rodent room where I breed all of the snakes, well, breed all of the rats for the snakes. And as you can see, this is a tiled wall. I don't know why, but yeah, it's tiled. I don't know why it would be tiled, but it is what it is. And that gets a lot of heat mass because the sun from all the way up there from like 12 o'clock starts hitting this wall until it sets it's setting right now as we speak and yeah it just charges this wall up and makes it nice and hot sometimes like literally I can put my hand on there and it feels like I can cook an egg that's how hot it gets so reptiles as you may know are ectotherms more specifically they are poikilotherms basically that means they cannot control their own body temperature like us humans we are endothermic which means we are warm-blooded so poikilotherms are all cold-blooded animals so they are unable to make their own body temperature and regulate that unless they like bask or use an external source of energy let's try find beth now because we need to water her plants because she's trying to destroy her pothos vines pothos whatever you want to pronounce it there we go this is beth as you know she's one of my favorite snakes and yes she can spit she has the potential to spit but she doesn't really spit she's the cutest and most amazing runkles ever they are not true cobras because of the fact that 
A, they give live birth, they have keeled scales, which means their scales basically are rough and not smooth like cobras are, and she's just such a sweetheart. They also have a different tooth on the maxilla, which makes them like to be classified morphologically differently. That's why they are not a true cobra, even though they can hood like a cobra and more impressively than something like your king cobras. Having it too hot, it will actually kill your animal a lot faster than a cold temperature will because it's more of a shock from them dying of too much heat. So most of your common species will be a lot more forgiving than some of your really difficult and rarer species just because that's how it is like a ball python and a corn snake will be a lot more forgiving than something like some of your arboreal tree vipers and animals like that so if you do have a extremely warm and hot reptile room some things you can do to change that are obviously if you can use a different room that is cooler in the house otherwise you can close up any windows shade them with curtains you can try add humidity in the room as well and then airflow and if that doesn't work you might need to get a air conditioner but start off by closing windows and insulating as much as you can because an insulated room is a lot better than having to use something like a air conditioner just because you are using the natural world around you and you don't have to use a lot of electricity on something like a air conditioner so uh, right behind you here is a window that I'm actually going to board up and insulate because I believe a lot of my heat is reflected off the pavement outside and in through the window so hopefully that will also help but I am going to there is a window here so I have to, to make like a little gap so when I put this huge monstrosity of a extractor fan on the other side of the room it will actually have air to pull through and pulling that air through will help the snakes have nice fresh clean air as well as it will um, move fresh air over the wall like the, which is the huge energy and heat source and hopefully cool it down something that does suck though if i close up or when i close up this window is there's going to be a lot less light and i'm enjoying the light in this room because it really does help out with filming because natural light is always the best so snakes can actually develop a lot of neurological issues when they get too hot such as they start stargazing corkscrewing and obviously they can also die from too high of a heat and that is why you need to sort out your temperatures and make sure everything is stable because you don't want to cook your snakes and if something like that does happen they have had too much heat you should put them in a bit of cool water not cold water cool water because basically if you put them in cold water um, their blood vessels will on the surface of their body will constrict and you won't cool down the core temperature of them and this will make their body go into shock basically you can learn more a lot about that it's a little bit complicated but yeah take them to a vet then the best though is preventative measures like I'm doing here so remember I said this snake was almost like a corn snake even though he is Africa's most toxic cobra, the Cape Cobra over here. Well it seems like he's hit teenagehood because he's becoming a little bit more skittish than he was before and a little bit more feisty which is okay I don't mind it. He's super cute nonetheless and still not a difficult snake to handle and not super super aggro. Not really that snakes are aggressive, it's always really our fault. If you want to hear some crazy, crazy snake stories, I released a po podcast episode this last week about my great uncle who literally has some of the most incredible and crazy stories with some venomous snakes like a black mamba looking him in the face from like 30 centimeters away, not knowing what to do because he's like 1.5, 1.6 meters the snake could literally look him in the eye um, and yeah that must be an insane story but also he was spat in the face by a Mozambican spitting cobra and after that he didn't need to wear glasses how crazy is that thanks guys for watching remember to go out learn explore inspire and hopefully you learn something because airflow is important cheers live it